In our Earth Week coverage tonight, a new twist on something we've been watching for years now. I'm talking about the melting of the polar ice caps. New research from California scientists says as the ice melts, the Earth actually slows down. And this could lead to a potential time change. Our business and tech reporter Scott Budman explains. The more we see polar ice melt, the more scientists tell us that climate change will have real world effects on our lives. Melting glaciers likely mean rising sea levels threatening our coastlines. But it also means less ice at the Earth's poles and more water weight spread around to other places. And that's leading to the Earth slowing down. Human activity has changed the rotation of the Earth. Not exactly like what happens when Superman flies around the Earth and reverses time in the movie, but enough to actually slow down the rotation of our planet, a rotation that's been speeding up slightly for decades. That trend slowed, turned around, and is now going in the other direction, and that's all because of the effect of global warming. That's Duncan Agnew, who runs a study out of San Diego Scripps Institute for Oceanography. His study says we may actually have to subtract a so-called leap second from our atomic clocks because of the slowing planet, a move that would be painful for satellites, computers, not to mention financial and energy systems that rely on precise timing. We've never had a negative leap second before. It's hard enough synchronizing computers when, there's a, when you add a second, but nobody's prepared to, to do what's necessary when you have to have a negative second. Now, we should say the biggest concern when it comes to melting ice is not a potential leap second. Land ice, when it melts, contributes directly to sea level rise. But even alongside sea level concerns, the slowing planet is getting attention. It is definitely an interesting one. I don't think anybody will notice um, personally the effect of that putting more eyes and more concern on a climate crisis. Scott Budman, NBC Bay Area News.